Has it been frustrating going through the, the number of injuries that you've had and, you know, Start line. Yes, for sure. It has been the, an obstacle. I have and down due to frequent injuries, but I hope when I came back, I found that it was a blessing because I really tried to maintain up with the performance, and then the, it was really excellent for me. What is your goal for Sunday? What do you think is possible? Oh, I can't predict anymore, but uh, we wish, I wish my, to try my best at the maximum of my career in the New You've made it to the start line in New York twice and you've won twice. Is this is going to be number three? Uh, for now, I can't say because, you know, during our time, there was quite different. But, you know, for now, there is a young talent coming up. And uh, I hope we shall try to, to race with them. But I don't think that it is not easy like some fears uh, echo. You, you trained with, with Stanley. How have, have you guys been able to help each other in this training block get ready for this race? Yes, anyway, I've been sharing ideas, training, but I hope, you know, we hope for the best in the sense of Stanley and uh, also in my side. Yeah. Uh, it was uh, 2000, it has been frequent since whenever I, I came, I raised one race. The other race comes a problem, so it has not been the something smooth, but everything must be going on well. But who helped since when? When have you been? When were you 100 percent? I can I cannot say uh, I've been 100 percent help, but it was normal anyway for an athlete to have not 100 percent health. Yeah, yeah. You, you say that the marathoning has gotten much more difficult, you know, in the recent years with all the young people and the 203. And but the two times you've run since 2008, you were still second place. So it seems to me that you can compete with them. I mean, is it? Yes, I think with uh, with my performance anyway, it's uh, it's blessing me because you know after that long, long time, like now it is the tenth year to be here. I think it's a great for me, and I I do respect the, the, these young athletes because uh, during my time, my first marathon here, 2003, I think most of them they were still in school, they were still very young. Now I'm still competing with them, so I think it's a privilege for me, and I hope I like them because it's their time to participate with them. That's why I like them, and I enjoy running with them. Now that you're older, you're, you're 35. Do, do you do less in training because your body's getting older, or do you train pretty much the same as you did? For, for me, I find that there is no difference. What I realize mostly frequently is that you know the hate doesn't matter, but always on my side, most of us as athletes, they are, the age is the mind. Because wherever you are strong in the mind, I think you cannot, the age doesn't matter. Especially when you can uh, see my colleague highly, he's not, he's very old, but his mind is still dedicated to the sport. That's why we hear at that example from highly. Has, um, thank you, thanks. During the period where you were you were suffering injuries, I mean, was it a, a, a situation of overtraining that, that was causing the injuries, or were they just like you know fluke things that were happening? I think what I realized is that uh, you know, as uh, because I was still more energetic and uh, frequently I was at times overtraining, and then the, I, I exhausted my body, and during that time, the, the body was so fragile. But nowadays there is a way over. I am approaching the different angle, but in in final hands I'll be in the, the same shape like always, but not like the same train that I used to be. Okay. But, uh, what what kind of changes, if any, have you made to your training? You know, I've been the like overloading training so much. I've been the, doing frequently speed mileages. And then the, all of a sudden, I find that the body was picking up more, and then and yet I was having a long, still a long way. 
so it was very hard and easy for me to get seniors. Yeah. Are you are you looking forward to being able to run uh, with a training partner like Stanley uh, on Sunday? And, and how do you think you can help each other? You know, in the sense of Stanley and myself, a little quite different in the sense that for him is still very young. For me myself, it's a little bit. But our call this Sunday is that we try our best to be to get the best results here in New York. If not for him to win and myself to do the best. If there's a pack together with less than 400 meters to go, who do you pick? <laughs> I think it will be a pleasure for me, but all I go with somebody to that remaining 400. I think I might celebrate there because it is my that target that I usually get from it. Yes. During the injuries, was there a point where you almost gave up and thought, I'm never going to run race again? Or did you always believe you would be back? Oh, I think I can only say that due to well managed by my coach here, I think I was so, he never lose confidence of myself. That made me to run, to still to come in the sides of sports because after I was being disturbed so much, injuries frequently, I can only say my mind was still very strong, but the fact is that on the sides of coach, he was really giving me more confidence that I'm still able to run. So I just confined the effort that was keeping me and myself, and I say still, I still have a chance to run. Which type of course do you prefer? I mean, you've won in London, which is flat, and you've run hilly, New York. Which is better for you? I think all is good for me. Right. I like hard course at the same time, faster course, flat course. Yeah. All for me is good. But Mike, it seems to me that as you're older, maybe New York is better because it's not quite as fast. You don't have to run 203, you can run 206, 207. Yeah, of course, although this young generation, they are coming up with a high speed, I do really prefer New York because it's not like that of high, faster course. Because at times it needs a lot of experience because this course is a little bit hilly and needs to have, apart from being in the good condition, you have to advance in the side of experience also because it's not so easy. It was very hard course. Has Stanley asked you for any pointers? Has he asked you for your advice about how to uh, approach this course? Yeah, I've been talking with him because we are sharing room together and uh, it is good that we share some ideas and then we can wish wish each other could uh, race on Sunday. Yeah. You didn't do any any half marathons or or 10Ks to practice to get ready. No, no, there was no races in your build-up. So how do you feel? Like, how do you know what type of shape you're in? Ah, uh, you know, it's like I've been doing uh, last time when I when I went to London. I did the same, I never went for any any road races, so and I managed to, to come up with a good performance. So I I think that not be the point as to why I'm scared with my shape, but I only say believe and trust myself that I will perform very well here. Were you worried about injuring yourself at all in a tune-up race? Sorry? Were you worried at all that you might get injured if you ran a tune -up, uh, a race before coming here? No, I, I didn't worry about that, but this time around I say let me try to focus only the marathon. Otherwise, I, will not, I was not scared about injury. You're, you're very close friends with um, Robert Chariot that, that uh, won Boston four times, that Robert Chariot. Is he retired from racing? Uh, it was like some are retired, some are not yet because uh, it's one man echo. I tried to talk with him and he was like, he needs to start, he needs to, to relax a little bit. Uh, I think he's not yet decided to, to retire completely. Yeah. Martin, in the. Uh Everyone else, 
else you came and you, know, you did extremely well. So do you feel the same way? Oh, well. pressure? Uh, no, sincerely for me, I have no pressure because same standard. Everything is well for me. It's only to focus and uh, to try my best. But I have no pressure. Okay. There are very few runners in the, in the top where you have been. You have been injured so many times like you. What motivates you to come back all the time? You know, as your manager. <laughs> yes, as far as you know, what makes me to, to be able to run till this time is because of what it treats me, and also makes me courageous. It gives me a lot of courage, whatever I've been trying. It also, gives me confidence that I'm still running. So I try to confine the effort that has been given me. Plus the one I was doing myself, and I find that I still do a lot in this kind of sport. So I stay, I still have chance to try. No one has ever beaten you on this course. Does it make you feel proud? So proud, and it's, it's a story for me. And uh, it's a blessing for me, guys. In America, there's a there's a phrase for the third time is the charm. Do they have that in Kenya? It means lucky. Like three is always lucky. Do you feel? Do you have that in Kenya? That saying? <laughs> no, it's not usual. But I do believe at times when somebody advises me something that is love, I do believe. Maybe it comes. Maybe not. What well, What would on Sunday if you won ten years after your first victory? Do you believe? Well, how would you? Well, what would your thoughts on that be? I think I cannot even explain because it will be very hard for 10 years to come here and win. But it will be great and it will be struggle for me. And how do you feel about Stanley's shape? How is he compared to you right now? Uh, I think Stanley is in a good shape. Uh, the only thing is that, you know, marathon is marathon and you cannot predict. At times you can be hundred percent shape and uh, anything can happen in marathon. But I do believe he's very young, still energetic, and he has a potential of winning. Who do you train with now? Um, who are your training partners currently? Uh, there's 